We are joined by Hyderabad's BJP candidate and uh, BJP leader Madhavi Lata, madam. Madam, you've come here to Gandhi Hospital. What is the issue? What is the incident about? There's a lady by name Samaka. I've just come. Amma, okay. There's a lady by name Samaka. I've come to meet her here. She belongs to SEST community, whom we call Pardiwada community. Mostly these women only make their survival by selling fruits and vegetables. Very bad economically these people are. This is uh, near the Upal uh, area and uh, twice they have been attacked by the local Muslims. Now when I say local Muslims, it's so difficult for me to say local Muslims because previously the Muslims who used to stay there were in a smaller number and there used to be a great harmony between all of them. In last couple of years, there has been a flooded Muslims coming into this particular area. On, and these Muslims have been given all those two bedroom houses which technically should have gone to the actual Muslims who are the citizens of this country and to this Pardiwada people who are economically very back, backward. Not a single house has been given to these Pardiwada people. All two bedroom houses have been given only to these new flooded Muslims who are coming from which part of the world nobody has clue. Their voter IDs have been made, their ration cards have been made. Now, eventually what's happening is they are not letting these Pardiwada Hindus to survive there. They don't let any kind of flags to put on their houses. They get everything removed and they, they ensure that these people don't celebrate any festivals. They are not supposed to do Hanuman Chalisa loudly. They are net, not let to go to their temples there. Yesterday was an issue of a holy celebration where the young girls were you know, participating in the holy celebration with some songs and dance. As they heard the namaz, they have shut down everything. Once the namaz finished, they, they started uh, re, you know, going back to the celebrations. And the youngsters there, the Muslim boys were taking videos for which one of their elderly paternal aunt stopped doing this. Immediately she was hit terribly. The eight or nine girls who were dancing there were hit but stoned badly till, to the death kind of a situation. And a grenade was thrown on one of the boys there. And these people, the women had almost seven to eight stitches, most of them. One of the ladies in a very bad critical condition here and one more lady also. The, today morning she puked uh, blood. When this question was erased and asked to the, all the atrocity of us that police have started assaulting and beating the Pardiwada people only. Now it went on a rage now. Obviously when there is no justice happening, these people also could not understand what to do next, how to get their uh, justice. Today morning when I've come to know, immediately I rushed to that place, they didn't let me go. Then I had to walk onto the road for three and a half kilometers distance, halfway then they let me take my car back. They didn't let me go to the party wadi to understand, even to sympathize the people. They didn't let me go. Till now, I couldn't go there. They didn't let me reach the place. They say, you cannot go, you cannot talk to them. And these women also apparently are being harassed by those men. They can't tell anybody this. They're, they have videos in their phones which have been taken away, snatched by the police, and police doesn't accept this. We all know about this. This is how the system runs here. And in spite of that, they file an FIR which has the sections which can be so simply, you know, they're all bailable. Um, the, you, simply they can get bail out of this. They can be immediately removed from, from the whatever problem they are into. In fact, it is a SC, ST female case. It is an attempt to murder case. It's a communal right case. And it is a provoking case. And there is no justice. Now, where do we go for justice? The Ambedkar statue also been stoned. Now, these people talk big things when Ambedkar Jayanti comes. What is the AMIM chief doing right now? He only represents those Muslims who want to come from other countries and protest for them. Is he not here to tell his Muslims that they are not supposed to do such things? So it doesn't really matter whether it is triple talaq or whether it is a Hindu woman. He will never support any woman. He will only utilize women. Recently, I am sure one point he will also use women for his campaigning also. For the sake of campaigning, he will use women also. But he will never come for these women who have been stoned, hit to death by Muslim boys. And he will not come for those women who are hit by triple instant talaq and who cannot get UCC because of it. We are not going to keep quiet. And I am going to fight for the justice of women and all those people who are being hit when AMIM every time puts hands in hand with the local government. It's Kepaila Biarasta and now it is Congress. I know that I am on the spotlight and they are not going to leave me too. But I am not going to leave them too. Jai Bharat. As I was speaking with uh, regarding the uh, Upal issue about the Pardiwada, we are at Gandhi Medical College, the hospital. We suddenly see that there is a mother crying here. 
Her son has been yesterday brutally cut open, all the intestine thrown out by a Muslim boy. And he apparently comes down, he, he was then questioned by police, he says that, yes, I have done bloody well, do whatever you want. And this boy has been sent here, dead. Where is the photo? That boy has been sent here. And, and, and what is most important is, Kalse, since yesterday, they are doing his postmortem. Now, I don't know. What is that medical science which does postmortem till from yesterday till today? And they have not given the body to the parents yet. Enta vai sama babu de? 18 year old boy, 18 saal ka bachcha, kaat kaat ka pheg diye hai. Kal se postmortem kar rahe us bachche ka isi hospital mein, jo Bala Nagar ke hai, Hyderabad ke hai. Aaj tak bachche ka body parents ko diya nahi gaya hai. Abhi bataiye, nyaay kaha hai? Nyaay kaha milega humko?